The two main suspects are both members of the French far-right GUD movement. On the right, 31-year-old Romain Bouvier, arrested in the small town of sable sur sarthe in western France. On the left, Loïc Le Priol. The 27-year-old ex-soldier was detained at a border crossing in Hungary. He claimed he was on his way to Ukraine to fight, according to Hungarian police, who also seized three knives from his car. It was at this bar in the chic 6th district of Paris that an altercation erupted in the early hours last Saturday between Federico Martin Aramburu and his friends and another group of men. The group left, but Bouvier and Le Priol are believed to have returned, allegedly shooting and killing the former Argentinian rugby star while he was heading back to his hotel. I saw a man on the ground. He was being administered CPR. I was shocked. I can't stop thinking about it. Le Priol had a criminal record and was already due in court in June on charges of violently attacking a former GUD leader. The former Marine had been deployed to Mali and Djibouti, but was repatriated to France after being diagnosed with PTSD. He was later discharged for violent behavior. He had a brilliant military career. He was a Marine commando deployed in war zones. In 2015, he was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. His PTSD has been known to manifest itself through violence and addictive behavior, such as consuming large quantities of alcohol. A lawyer for Aramburu's family has called his death a heinous crime.